everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and I'm gonna show you how to make a gorgeous Southwest beef chili. Now, I'm going to use stewing beef tomorrow when I'm making my chili, but tonight I'm going to marinate it, okay? And I have about a pound of really nice stewing beef. I've aged it a little bit and it's good to go. Um, I'm going to just infuse some flavors uh, before we start cooking it tomorrow. It's gonna sit in the fridge overnight. Why not, right? It's just extra flavor. So grab yourself a nice little bowl so you can put it, um, a resealable plastic bag in it and it doesn't leak in your refrigerator. I'm gonna add some different things to here first. I'm gonna add the meat to the bag first. Now these are in chunks of about an inch. Um, I don't want huge giant chunks. I want to have a nice piece or two of chili in every bite. Um, that's my plan. In goes the bay leaf. I'm going to freshly crack some pepper. And that goes maybe a teaspoon. Some chili flakes. A couple dashes of cumin. Some ancho chili powder. Maybe a teaspoon. Now comes the fun part. I'm going to add some smoked paprika, some sweet smoked paprika, and some hot smoked paprika. Now, both of these come from La Chinata smoked paprika powder, and this is what the little jars look like. They have a hot, a sweet, a bittersweet, and premium varieties of the sweet and the hot. And today I'm going to use maybe a half a teaspoon of the sweet and about a quarter of a teaspoon of that hot. Next, the best part about this Napa Jacks Southwest beef chili is the Napa Jacks original barbecue sauce. Now, you could use any of their barbecue sauces for this. They've got a beautiful line of them, I'm telling you what. But today I'm gonna use the original kind because we're adding a whole bunch of other flavors tomorrow. So we're gonna stay basic. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon and a half. Ooh. And I'm gonna add a little bit of alcohol. You have some choices here. You could use beer, you could use wine from the Napa Valley or anywhere else. Uh, you could use tequila would be a really nice addition. And today I don't have tequila. I'm gonna use a little bit of rum. Why not, right? A little bit of rum, about a tablespoon. And this is just gonna sit here all night and marry together all these flavors. It's gonna be awesome. I'm also gonna add the juice of one lime. This is gonna tenderize that beef up nicely. And it's gonna give a beautiful Southwest flavor. All right, seal that bag all up. And massage that meat. Make sure it's completely coated and everything is combined evenly. This is gonna be a great chili tomorrow. Now make sure you soak your beans tonight if you don't have um, cans of beans or beans already cooked that you've done in the freezer. And that's why this little handy dandy bowl is so handy dandy. It's gonna keep that from being all over your refrigerator accidentally. Okay, I just took my beef out of the refrigerator. It's been marinating. It looks awesome. It smells really delicious. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. That's an intense flavor. Boy, that's good. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That beef is full of flavor because it sat and marinated. The, the flavor is right throughout that meat. Mm. It's falling apart. It's beautiful. That is so good. Mm. Mm. I'm ready to go finish eating and feed everybody. So make sure you go online, check out winecountrykitchens.com for this beautiful line of Napa Jack's barbecue sauces. They also have um, spice rubs. Really, really delicious, excellent, excellent food that you're gonna be able to make with it. All right, hearty dish, everyone's gonna like it. All right, I hope that you check it out and check out some more of my Southwestern recipes, maybe with some Napa Jack stuff. All right, follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on ifood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly, youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly, and you can find me syndicated on Roku. Come to my website at cookingwithkimberly.com and subscribe, interact with us, and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.